Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I am your English teacher for class 3 from IYS school. Now, before starting the topic, you all don't know what is our today's topic. Before starting the topic, our first activity is to introduction to the topic. When someone asks you a question, where do you live? What do you do? You only answer, I live in Pakistan. I live in Karachi. What is Kar Pakistan? Pakistan is the name of country. But if I talk about Karachi, Karachi is the name of city. There are many other cities like Karachi, Karachi, Islamabad, Lahore, Faisalabad, and these all are cities. When all the cities come together, it makes a country. So in the same way, there are many countries. Now I am going to share some famous countries with you all. Number first one is France. This is a uh, picture of the famous place of France. So this is France. This is the name of country. Now the second picture you can see on your screen that is China. China is also a name of country. China is also a name of country. Now move towards third one. That's Russia. Russia. Number fourth one is Italy. This is also a name of country. Now, Egypt. This is a place, this is one of the places located in the Egypt. So, Egypt is also a name of country. If I talk about next one, that is number six. And number six is Australia. This is also a name of country. Next one is USA. Eight one is India. Next is Thailand. And next is Peru. These all are countries. As I have told you that when all the cities come together, it makes a country. But when many places come together, many countries come together, it makes one thing. That is the name of our today's topic. And that thing is the picture of that thing will be shown on your screen right now. This is a picture of world. This is a picture of world. You can see on your screen, this is the topic of, this is the name of our today's topic. Our today's topic name is, we are one world. Now, I am moving towards the second activity, that is reading. Now, take out your course book, Active English 3 course book, page number 8. Put your fingers on your book. And listen very carefully. If you don't have book, you can see on your screen the page number 8. Now put your fingers and listen very carefully. Number first stanza is, Pearl lives in Canada. Marla lives in Spain. But both like to ride their bikes along the shady land. Lip lives in Norway. Amul is in Peru, but both laugh with the giraffe when visiting the zoo. Now coming towards the third stanza, that's, that is Anwar is Egyptian, Kim is Japanese, but both run beneath the sun and fly kites in the breeze. Jack is from the USA. Karantha is from Chad, but both can write a poem at night upon a writing pad. Last stanza of this poem is, children live all over the world's giant fall, but far and near, it's very clear, we are one world after all. I hope you all have listened it very carefully. Now I am repeating it. Listen again and put your fingers on your book. Put your fingers on your book. Where lives in Canada. Marla lives in Spain. But both like to ride their bikes along the shady land. 
Liv lives in Norway. Ramon is in Peru. But both laugh with the giraffe when visiting the zoo. And where is Egyptian? Kim is Japanese. But both run beneath the sun and fly kites in the breeze. Jack is from the USA. Karinta is from Chad. But both can write home at night upon a writing pad. Children live all over the world's giant ball. But far and near, it's very clear we are one world after all. Now, I have read the poem. I hope you all listen it very carefully. Now, come towards the explanation of this poem. I will explain this poem stanza wise. Now, I, there are three columns appeared on your screens. First one is of names, second one is of countries, third one is of activities. If, as you have uh, learned in the poem, as you have learned in the poem that there are many children, there are name of children. So I have written the uh, name of children in one column, name of countries in second, activities in third. Names of children, first name is Pera. If we learn, we read it in the first stanza, Pera. And the country where he lives is Canada. The country where he lives is Canada. Number second child which we learn in the first stanza is Marla. Marla. He lives in Spain. Canada and Spain. Both are different countries and both are very far to each other. But they both children like to do the same thing and that thing is they like to ride their bikes. They like to ride their bike. Means it doesn't matter where you live. You can enjoy the same thing. Come towards the second stanza. In second stanza, there is a name of child, Liv. Name of child is Liv. And where does he live? Liv lives in Norway. Norway is the name of country where he lives. In second stanza, the second name of child is Shamu. He lives in Peru. The both countries are also far to each other and different countries but they laugh with the giraffe they, they both have the same activity in number three uh, the name of child is Anwar and Anwar lives in Egypt Egypt is the name of country and Kim Kim lives in Japan but the both children like to do the same thing and that is they like to fly kites in the breeze. Number fourth stanza is Jack. Jack is the name of child who lives in USA and Karantha is also a name of child who lives in Chad. They both have the same activity that is right home at night. And if I talk about the fifth stanza, that is all about the central idea of this form. In the last stanza, they said that world, they talk about a world. World is a giant world. Giant means huge, very large. So, but far and near, it's very clear we are one world after all. That means it doesn't matter where we live. We live far, we live at a distance, near. It doesn't matter. We all are under the one world. Now, if you did not understand, you will understand in this explanation, this is through pictures. In first stanza, in first stanza, that is the name of country is Canada. Canada is the name of country in first stanza. 
in the name of person the person who lives in canada I means a child who lives in canada is fairer first stanza first country and first child now in in the same stanza there is a name of another country that is spain and the name of child who lives in spain is marla now in first stanza there are three things one is about first country one is about second country and the third thing is about their activities mean the both children live far to each other live in different countries but they have the same activity and that activity is you can see in the picture they are riding a bike both like to ride their bikes along the shady lane both like to ride their bikes along the shady lane this is all about the first stanza and i hope you all have got it very clearly now come towards the second stanza in the second stanza there are also the name of two uh, two children the first one is about the live and the uh, live where does he live he lives in norway this is the picture of norway norway and live live lives in norway in the same stanza I means second stanza there is a name of third name of another child and name of another country the country name is peru this is a country and the name of child is amun lives in peru lives in peru now as we have learned in the second stanza about two countries and two children towards their activity you must know that now come towards their activity what to uh, you can see the picture of giraffe and children what is their activity they live in different countries but they have the same activity and what's their activity they both laugh with the giraffe when visit the zoo you can see in the picture as well they both laugh with the giraffe when visit the zoo now come towards the third stanza in third stanza there are also the name of two children number first is anwar and where does he live he lives in egypt where does he live he live in where does he live he live in egypt egypt is a name of country and anwar is a name of person now the second child in the third stanza is kim kim is japanese means he lives in japan what is japanese over here japanese is nationality nationality means when you belong to some any country so that uh, you have the nationality of that country, that country for example i live in pakistan so my nationality is pakistani now we have seen both children like kim is in lives in japan and anwar is in egypt what's their activity you must know so what's their activity both run they both run beneath the sun and fly kites in the breeze you can see in the picture there are children they are flying kites now at fourth stanza what is the fourth stanza in fourth stanza there are also name of two children name of two countries and their activity the words then what are the names and what are the countries and what's their activity the first name is jack 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 is from usa jack lives in usa the second one is the second one is hmm karen tho lives in chat now what are their activities in what Jack and Karen said they both also live in different countries but what do they like to do they both like to do the same thing 
Now we must know what is that thing. That thing is. That thing is. Both can write home at night on writing pad. Both can write home at night on writing pad. Now you can see there is a girl who is writing a poem. And there are two more children. So these all are their activities, their countries and their names. Now at the I hope you all understood it very clearly. Now I am going to tell you the difficult words which could be difficult for you all. And I am now take out your copy of course books. I think you have now underline the difficult word in the first stanza, fourth line, second last word S H A D Y Shady. S H A D Y shady. It's underline it as a difficult word. On the second stanza, third line, third word. L A U G H laugh. L A U G H laugh. Now come towards the third stanza. In the third stanza. The difficult word is in first line E G Y P T I A N Egyptian. E G Y P T I A N Egyptian. Okay. In the same stanza, the third line, the same stanza, third line B E N E A T H. B E N E A T H. Beneath. In the same stanza, last word, last line, last word. That is B R double E Z E. B R double E Z E. Underline the word. Now come towards the last stanza. In the last stanza, in the first line, there are there is a word A L L all O V E R. Underline this word. Okay. Now come to the third line of the same stanza means last stanza and third line that is F A R F A R R underline this word now in the same line the last word is C L E A R clear C L E A R clear underline this word I hope you all have underlined the words now come towards the words meaning. Now listen very carefully this instruction. You all have, will have to write words meaning in your copy, in your midterm fair copy. What are the words meaning? Number first word is clear. C L E A R. Clear. Clear means free from confusion means where you don't have any difficulty, where you don't have any query, where you don't have any doubt. Everything is easy for you. It means clear. Now, number second word is, number second word is, shady, S-H-A-D-Y, shady, S-H-A-D-Y. Shady. What is the meaning of shady? Uh, mostly in summer season when you go somewhere, so you want shade of tree. Means where you see there's a tree and it gives shade. You sit over there. So shady means giving shade, something which gave us shade. And trees are the most common example of this. And it uh, could be filled with shade a place which is filled with shade we can say that it's shady number third word is beneath b e n e a t h beneath b e n e a t h it means in a lower place not on a upper not 
in a lower place. Number fourth word is B R double E Z E. Breeze. B R double E Z E. Breeze. What does it mean? It means you have you heard about the word air, about the word wind. Now it new word for you breeze. Breeze means gentle wind, slight wind. Mostly in winter, some winter season you feel this sort of uh, wind, in slight wind or gentle wind in the afternoon. Now. Number fifth word is giant. J I G I A N T. Giant. Giant. In this form, the writer or the poet use the word giant for a word. Word is a giant ball. I mean, word is very huge, very large, where we all live. Number six is far. F A R far. Far means at a distance, something which is not near to you. You must have many relatives who live at a distance. Who live who are far away. Now, number last and seventh word is all over. A L L all O V E R over. All over means in all places. In all places means everywhere now take a screenshot of words meaning because you will have to write down it in your english midterm fair copy and okay can you take a very clear screenshot of it you have a time i Hmm. I think you have taken the screenshot. Now, I am moving towards the central idea of this form. Means, central idea. What is the central idea of this form? Why, why writer wrote this form? What is the, actually the purpose of this form? So, the purpose of this form, now, central idea. As we have learned about a different country, different children, definitely, when they live in different countries, it means they speak different languages. For example, in Pakistan, we speak Urdu. In, uh, in America, speak English. In Japan, in uh, Spain, Spanish. In Korea, in different countries, we speak different languages. So come towards the central idea. The central idea is, the central idea of the poem is that children across the globe are part of the same world children across the globe are part of the same world even they belong to different countries you can now take a screenshot of it you will have to write it in your midterm fair copy hmm. come towards the question answer these all question answer are available in your course book now i'm just reading it you all have to take a screenshot of question answer. Can you take a screenshot? Now, the first question is about the first stanza. In the first stanza, you have learned about the two children and there are the names of two countries. So the first question is where does where does Pera live? You can see the answer of this question in the first pair of Pera. Whenever you heard or you have to answer the of question where you have to write a name of place, name of country, city, mean a name of place. Pera live in Canada. What do Pera and Marla like to do? Pera and Marla like to ride their bikes along the shady land. Who lives? Who live in Norway and Peru? As I have told you that whenever you have a question with who, you will have to write the answer by writing the name here they are asking about two people two children so you will have to write the answer of two countries in the first first country and second country now um, who laugh with the giraffe when visiting the zoo 
Dev and Ramula fit the giraffe when visiting the zoo. You can also find the answer of these questions very easily. So that's why I am just only reading these questions. Kindly take a very clear screenshot of this question answer. Who is Egyptian? Anwar is Egyptian. Now question number six is now take a screenshot of this as well. What do Anwar and Kim do? Anwar and Kim. Anwar and came to Anwar and came run beneath the sun and fly kites in the breeze. Where do Jack and Karintha? What do Jack and Karintha do? They can write a poem at night on a writing pad. These all are the question answer. You all will have to write the answer on your answer of these all question in your English copy. Now it's time of your home task. Your home task is reading comprehension page number 9 and page number 10 of your course book. You will have to do these both pages in your book. Complete these pages because I think you have understood the answers.